What's going on YouTube? Rob A here, and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO City, set number 60072, the Demolition Starter Set. The set has 85 pieces and retails for about $10. Um, so the LEGO City line has kind of taken on sort of a, a sub-theme this year of Demolition. So they have a whole bunch of different construction vehicles and construction sites with one kind of unifying theme throughout. They all have toilets, <laughs> which is kind of weird. I don't know what decided, you know, who decided that that was going to be sort of the the big unifier there. But uh, as you can see, this is a starter set. So basically, it's you know, if you're just, you know, just starting out with Lego, just like graduated from Duplo or Juniors or whatever, um, you can get yourself one of these. It's inexpensive. Uh, you got four minifigs, which is great. I uh, get a little like caterpillar kind of bulldozer vehicle, which is looking looking adorable and you know just fine. And of course, you get this little uh, toilet that is just spitting water all over the place. It looks like the pipe is actually coming out of the wall there. And uh, this this uh, lovely lady back here is about to smash it with a sledgehammer. So definitely a lot of demolition going on here. And you can actually see this guy jackhammering the toilets. <laughs> I mean, uh, that I, I picked this up for this these images alone. Like I, I could never throw this box out. It's too amazing. Um, but yeah, so you you jackhammer the toilet. The toilet starts spraying water everywhere. So you take a jackhammer to it and then a sledgehammer to it, and then you scoop it all up and just dust it under the rug somewhere. So. Amazing. I am already in love with this set, and I haven't put it together yet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we will check it out in just a minute. Okay, guys, here is the Demolition Starter Set, and it's pretty darn adorable. Uh, so we're going to start with the minifigs first, as we always do. And let's start out with this guy right here. Um, this is Jack Hammer. Well, he's, it's not. He, they, none of these guys have names, and it's fine. Um, anyway, so here he is. He, he comes with a jackhammer, as you can see. Uh, you probably have seen or owned this piece before, but here it is, uh, in any case, just for reference. Here he is. Uh, again, we've probably seen most of these pieces before, or at least these prints, uh, I should say. Um, so he's got the new helmet with the... Uh, ear protection attached like so that going on so that's all one piece uh, with the little helmet underneath and then he's just got kind of the uh, the usual safety glasses and the big smile uh, very nice printing on the torso with a safety jacket over his brown uh, brown jacket or brown shirt which they continue into the sleeves He's got a little pair of look like pliers in his back pocket. So there you go. You got that guy. And he's running the jackhammer. So we'll put this back in his hands. <clears throat> there you go, buddy. Now here is the foreman. And uh, he's got himself a nice red megaphone here. Uh, and again, we've seen this face before, this print. Uh, he's got a regular work helmet on safety helmet I should say and uh, just a nice print as well it's got a ruler in his pocket it looks like or there could be like a granola bar I don't know <laughs> he's got a, a little pen in his pocket there very nice and brown trousers and uh, suspenders going across and it looks like he's got a nice back brace on which is pretty cool so very very nice for that guy love the uh, love the mutton chops sideburn beard face um next up is sweaty guy here is sweaty guy he's also got a regular helmet on and you can see he's uh he is sweating uh, he's got some tools as well as the back brace also and suspenders going across it's nice that they have the back brace, which is looks to be about the, pretty much the same, very similar. Uh, but the the print itself is completely different. It's on a completely different torso. So that's nice that they uh, kind of added that little touch. So very cool there. 
There you go. <clears throat> and uh, last but certainly not least is this lady here with the sledgehammer of doom. Very cool. Uh, she's got the new helmet with hair going on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice. Helmet with hair attached. You can see here she's just got a little hoodie underneath her safety jacket. She's in all safety orange. Little belt there. A uh, little radio in her back pocket. And you can see the hood just sticking out the back there. And that goes on just like so. So very nice. Those are the mini figs. Uh, then of course you get a couple little safety cones. Just very, very basic two-piece things. Um, you get a little uh, caterpillar style uh, earth, not earth mover necessarily, but just little, little scoop dozer thing. I don't even know what the you know real term is for it. Uh, but you can stick your sweaty guy in there, and you can move the thing around. This goes up and down a little bit, uh, but oddly enough, it uh, it can't really like hit the ground so much the uh, the scoop itself doesn't really touch the ground uh, so it is raised a little bit as you can kind of see uh, here uh, just because of the detents in the uh, in the connector uh, so to have it touch the ground the uh, the front wheels would not be down all the way so just got that but it's a cute little build nothing really to it very very simple very very basic uh, but it's not bad uh, and then of course the star of the show you get a toilet um, we've seen a lot of lego toilets in the past couple of years and uh, this one just happens to be shooting water all over the place i'm not even sure what exactly is the deal with this guy right here uh, but basically you have these little pipes with water that you can kind of you know put wherever and all of these pieces are not they're not crisscrossed as a lot of uh, Lego sets tend to be, uh, and what, what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of times, you know, you'll put two pieces here, and then you'll have one there to kind of stabilize the whole thing. This is not like that, and I believe that's intentional. These are made intentionally separate so that you can destroy them. The whole po point of these sets is demolition. Uh, so you got this young lady here with the sledgehammer just, you know, smashing the bricks in. Uh, which is pretty cool. But this toilet is actually one of the nicer looking toilets that I've seen. It's very, very simple, um, but it's effective. It definitely gets the idea across. And you can, uh, you know, <laughs> smash the bowl. But you can pop the lid off and you can see there's actually like a little bit going on in there. And you can even take your little uh, water and have it kind of shooting out of the toilet bowl if you so desire. And, uh, you know, you can take some little pieces. This is gold. But, you know, you get the idea. Um, but, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a really cute little set, especially for 10 bucks. I mean, you get four minifigs and all this uh, extra stuff. So I think that it's a really, really nice little set for that. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to just mess with and, and have a little <laughs> scene to kind of destroy and, and stuff like that. So I'm very, very uh, much enjoying these new demolition sets. And I, I'll grant you that I have, there have been and still are a, a ton, a ton of construction vehicles and all kinds of things. Like Lego City is made up of, you know, half police and fire and half construction. I totally get that. Um, but these are actually like, they're a little bit of a different take on, on the same, same old thing. And they add a little bit of Fun, more fun element to it, uh, and I think that works. But anyway, I really enjoy this set, and uh, I hope you will too. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, I've got more coming, even more some demolition wars, more demolition sets, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned for that one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.